Good morning, brothers and sisters. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom. We will live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech you, o Lord, your grace in our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glorious resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the five sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery is the scorching at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage. O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers. O ever glorious and blessed Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that purchase, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth shall, shall declare your sin. Come, let us worship the King of Kings. On this day, his Virgin Mother was taken up to heaven. Come, let us worship the King of Kings. On this day, his Virgin Mother was taken up to heaven. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the King of Kings. On this day, his Virgin Mother was taken up to heaven. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the King of Kings. On this day, his Virgin Mother was taken up to heaven. Come, then let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship the King of Kings. On this day, his Virgin Mother was taken up to heaven. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the King of Kings. On this day, his Virgin Mother was taken up to heaven. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the King of Kings. On this day, his Virgin Mother was taken up to heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the King of Kings. On this day, his Virgin Mother was taken up to heaven. Praise this wondrous honor that you 
gave birth to him, whom from you took his manhood and saved us from our sin. Blessed are you, O Mary, for the world's salvation came forth through you. Now in glory you rejoice forever with the Lord. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsty. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Virgin Mary is exalted above the choirs of angels. Let all believers rejoice and bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All your waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every sower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Lights and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. Your dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All your birds of the air, bless the Lord. All your beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of man, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Ananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praise worthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. The Lord has made you so glorious that your praise will never cease to resound among men. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their King. Let them praise His name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in His people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand to deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains and their nobles in feathers of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it as was it in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice like a bride bedecked with her jewels. Today the Virgin Mary was taken up to heaven 
today the Virgin Mary was taken up to heaven. For all eternity she shares the victory of Christ. The Virgin Mary was taken up to heaven. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Today the Virgin Mary was taken up to heaven. This daughter of Jerusalem is lovely and beautiful as she ascends to heaven like the rising sun at daybreak. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, who set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This daughter of Jerusalem is lovely and beautiful, as she ascends to heaven like the rising sun at daybreak. Let us glorify our Savior who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal Word, you chose Mary as the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Free us from the corruption of sin. We pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. You are our Redeemer, who made the Immaculate Virgin Mary your purest home and the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. Make us temples of your spirit forever, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. King of kings, you lifted up your mother, body and soul into heaven. Help us to fix our thoughts on things above, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Lord of heaven and earth, you crowned Mary and set her at your right hand as queen. Make us worthy to share this glory, we pray. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful and ever-living God, you raise the sinless Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son, body and soul to the glory of heaven. May we see heaven as our final goal and come to share her glory. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the solemn feast of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And now let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass. Let us first recall our sins. Let us be sorry for them. And let us ask God for forgiveness. In imitation of the humility of Mary, let us now acknowledge our sinfulness before God and before one another. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, words, in what, what I, have I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed, Blessed Mary, Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, who assumed the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the mother of your Son body and soul into heavenly glory. Grant that always attentive to the things that are above, we may merit to be sharers of her glory. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was open, and the ark of his covenant could be seen in the temple. A great sign appeared in the sky, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain, 
as she labored to give birth. Then another sign appeared in the sky. It was a huge red dragon with seven heads and ten horns, and on its heads were seven diadems. Its tail swept away a third of the stars in the sky and hurled them down to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman about to give birth, to devour her child when she gave birth. She gave birth to a son, a male child, destined to rule all the nations with an iron rod. Her child was caught up to God and his throne. The woman herself fled into the desert where she had a place prepared by God. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have salvation and power come, and the kingdom of our God, and the authority of his anointed one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. The queen takes her place at your right hand in gold of Ophir. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. Hear, O daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. They are borne in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The queen stands at your right hand, arrayed in gold. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through men, the resurrection of the dead came also through men. For just as in Adam all die, so too in Christ shall all be brought to life, but each one in proper order, Christ the firstfruits. Then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to his God and Father, when he has destroyed every sovereignty and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he subjected everything under his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mary is taken up to heaven, a chorus of angels exalts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, 
cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Are you happy? All of us want to be happy. But let me tell you this. Happiness is overrated. Happiness as its name suggests, is something that happens to us. We experience it when good things happen to us. The sad thing is happiness in this world is very temporary. No matter how hard we try to prolong it, we know it will not last. That is why my advice to you today is stop looking for happiness in this world. Focus rather on finding joy. Joy is different from happiness. Just as happiness happened to us, joy is something that we make happen. We make it happen. Why? Because joy is a decision. You can decide to be joyful regardless of the situation you are in. According to St. Thomas Aquinas, joy is habitual cheerfulness that allows us to smile, to laugh, or find humor even in the saddest things in life. We can experience joy even in the midst of difficulties, discomfort, and trials. Now, what is the basis of this decision? It's very simple. The conviction that despite the many things that we lack, despite the traffic, despite the heat, Despite the rain and the floods, despite the typhoons and other calamities that afflict us, we have many things to thank God for. Gratitude is a source of real joy. Our gospel reading for today narrates what we commonly call the second joyful mystery of the Holy Rosary. 
it is joyful because it makes us smile because of the humor that we see in the story of Mary visiting Elizabeth. Just imagine two women meeting each other. Mary cannot be pregnant yet because she has no husband and she is too young. The other woman, Elizabeth, has a husband, but she is too old to be pregnant. Yung isa, hindi pa pwede. Yung isa, hindi na pwede. Pero pareho silang pumwede. Both of them must be laughing when they saw the irony of their situation. You know, whenever I imagine the visitation, naalala kung parang this is a prefiguration of the Me Too movement. Bakit Me Too? Kasi nung nakita ni Elizabeth si Maria, sabi niya, ikaw din? At sabi ni Maria, Me Too. <laughs> Sinakakatawa, di ba? Even St. John the Baptist, who was still at the womb of the Blessed of Elizabeth, left for joy. Tumalun-talun sa sinapupunan dahil sa tuwa. It was a joyful reunion brought about by Mary because of her presence. She brought a joyful presence because she was bearing the cause of our joy, Jesus Christ. I think Mary herself was filled with joy. That's why she sang the Magnificat. Alam niyo yung Magnificat na sinabi ni Mary, hindi naman siguro niya ni-recite yun sa harap ni Elizabeth. No? Sasabi ni Elizabeth, ang corny mo naman. No? Nagre-recite ka ng poem sa harap ko. You know, when we are happy, we usually don't recite a poem. We sing. And that is what Mary did. She sang the Magnificat. Because she was saying, you know, despite the many things that are happening to me, which I cannot understand yet, I am sure that the Almighty is doing great things for me. And holy is His name. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, Mary has suffered too. She had her own taste of pain, trials, tribulations, frustrations. Now we can ask, what gave her the strength to bear and overcome all these? I think it's not only that she was very close to Jesus, it's not only that she was filled with grace, rather, it was because of her joy. We read in the prophet Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 10, The joy of the Lord is my strength. And this is repeated by St. Paul in his letter to the Philippians, chapter 4, verses 11 to 13. When you are joyful, you become strong. You prove to yourself and to others that you are stronger than the setbacks and failures that you experience. By deciding to be joyful, you also help others to be strong. I think Mary's assumption can be seen in this perspective in the perspective of joy. It is true that her assumption was the logical and necessary consequence of being immaculately conceived. So she was freed from the bodily corruption caused by death. But her assumption can also mean that she had assumed a new kind of presence that transcend time and space. 
by her assumption, she can bring joy everywhere to everyone who invokes her material care, her maternal care. You know, the visitation prefigured the assumption because in the visitation, Mary overcame the barrier set by physical distance. Mary's love breeds the distance separating her and Elizabeth. She knew that Elizabeth needed help, comfort, care, and love. Mary has taught us one secret to success. And what is that? Look for a need and answer it. You can never fail in this. If you look for a need and you answer it, you're not only a success, you are truly joyful. So my dear brothers and sisters, you don't need to look everywhere to find someone who is in need of something. Within our family, there are people who are in difficult situations because of sickness, psychological problems, failures, frustrations. Do we bother to place ourselves in their difficult situation and answer their need in the little way we can? It's so sad that in families today, they are so close to one another but there are great distances separating them from each other. So close and yet so far. In our convents and in religious houses, when brothers and sisters are suffering from sickness, do we even visit them? How can you be an instrument of God's grace and love when you can even, when you cannot even bear the inconvenience of visiting a sick brother or sister. We cannot bring joy to others if we are too focused on ourselves. And so as we continue with this Mass in honor of the Blessed Mother, let us pray. Lord, give us the strength that comes from joy. Joy is a gift of the Holy Spirit, but we can always ask for it. Give us the joy that comes from our conviction that despite the tragedies that afflict us, we have many things to thank you for. We do not need to be assumed into heaven to be present to others. We just have to look for a need, and we answer it as Mary did. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us now all stand to offer our petitions to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary was raised body and soul to glory, and he now, she now shines forth as a great sign of our future as the church. As pilgrims still journeying towards the heavenly kingdom, let us bring our prayers with her to God, our Father. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. that as a church, we may look forward to the resurrection promised by our Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That word leaders may become instruments of peace among nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may find unity around Mary, the lowly handmaid exalted to glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see hope in Mary's glory. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may rise with Christ to rejoice with Our Lady and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Dominican brothers and their ministries, for the intentions of this Mass, the intentions of our religious communities, and for our own personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of heaven and earth, our prayers come before you with the help of our glorious mother, the first believer called to share in the glory of the triumphant Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, may this oblation, our tribute of homage, rise up to you. And through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, when you assume her into heaven, may our hearts aflame with the fire of love, constantly long for you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection and as a sign of our sure hope and comfort as your pilgrim people. Rightly, you would not allow her to see the corruption of the tomb, since from her own body she marvelously brought forth your incarnate Son, the author of all life. And so together with the angels and the saints, we proclaim your glory as we say.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray as Jesus prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the fulfillment of our blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold Jesus in the Eucharist, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins. Blessed are we who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Lord, having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem us, be pleased to enrich you with all his blessings. Amen. May you know always and everywhere Mary's protection and love, through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you who have devoutly gathered today carry away with you the gift of spiritual joy and heavenly reward. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace and be joyful like the Blessed Virgin Mary. Thanks be to God. Adios, Reina del Cielo, Madre del Salvador, Dulce Prenda Adorada, Que mi sincere amor, Que tu divino rostro, 
Salvador, dulce prea.